with Malcolm Brogdon because early in that fourth quarter, Brogdon kind of kept the Pacers right there with the Lakers when they were making their run. Malcolm, after the loss to Phoenix, what happened the last day and a half? How much did you guys want to really bounce back? You showed your resiliency once again. Uh, man, we rely on each other. Um, TJ Warren has been playing phenomenal ball. Uh, Victor stepped up playing great ball. Miles, everybody, man. So it's been a collective effort. Uh, you know, we wanted to bounce back. Phoenix is playing good ball. It's a tough team, but, you know, we played another really good team tonight, so we wanted to win this one. The smaller lineup has a lot of different options. When you're at the point guard and you've got Victor on the wing and Aaron Holiday, and you know what Miles can do outside the three-point arc, and then you've got T.J. Warren playing like the best player in the bubble, how much, how many options does it give you? Man, uh, countless, countless. Um, we got plenty of scores, plenty of guys that can, that can, uh, you know, create their own shot, get to the basket, uh, make the right, right pass and right decision. So, um, you know, we're going to be hard to guard if we play small ball. I think everyone was looking forward to these final four games as a little bit of a tune-up to kind of see where you're at heading into the playoffs. You're playing without DeMontis Sabonis, but if everyone else is healthy, do you like your rotations in your group right now? I love them, man. We're playing really good ball. Um, you know, we're playing with, with confidence, man, and, and humility. People are sharing the ball, uh, playing with each other, so, um, you know, I like where we're at. Before I let you go, I wanted to give you an opportunity to speak to some of the messages you've been trying to share on Fox Sports Indiana. It's important for you to lead this Pacers team, but also to lead some change. And you've been able to do both in Orlando this month. Absolutely. You know, winning games is great. Um, the NBA, playing in the NBA is, a, is an amazing opportunity for all of us. But with that opportunity, I think, comes responsibility. Um, and, and with everything going out in the world today going on, um, you know, we got to keep the light on, you know, those cases like Breonna Taylor, uh, those cases like Ahmaud Arbery, where their, you know, murders haven't been brought to justice. Um, and that's, that's what people want. We want equality. We want justice. We want to be able to operate and, and live on the same playing field as everybody else. Um, so, you know, it, we got to keep that attention on on those that don't really have the light that don't really have the voice um, and and keep pushing